was commenting on the fact that he appears to have a number of age spots. You can see them on his forehead, all over his forearms. Uh, uh, buddy, he's like 60 and Jewish. Uh, no shit. He's not going to look like a fucking 15 year old. Uh, or at least that's what they appear to be. Now, somebody said they were birth defects, but you look at older pictures, he doesn't have those, at least on his uh, arms or, or face. Um, and these age spots is, is what they most commonly or likely are, are something that we, we associate with senescence, with old age, uh, you know, this pigmentation that occurs. Usually you see it in... You know, it's funny he says this and then he's just going, like, any day now. Any day now, this guy is going to drop dead of like a stroke or something. Uh, and then he won't be able to make a video um, talking about how, well, the reason I had the stroke isn't because of the carnivore diet. It was because of a diddly 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 do. Like, no, he's just going to be fucking dead. And then this jackass will still have this video up talking about how, oh, Gr Gregor looks old. Uh, okay, well, you're dead. People... 70s, 80s, you know, their forearms are covered with all these dark uh, discolor discolorations. I have seen enough. Frank is conservative next to Vash. Um, yeah, I think uh, Frank's, you know, uh, is definitely more conservative on the political spectrum, especially compared to Vash. Thanks for that, donation, Sam. Uh, he's only 51, you know, he's, I'm, I'm, you know, six years younger than I am and I don't have any of those things, you know, I've got some, these weird veins that keep popping out of my, my arms from time to time, but no, uh, <laughs> no age spots. And what is the cause of these age spots? Well, it's interesting. There's some people that will, will postulate that it has to do with polyunsaturated fatty acids. Uh, Ray Pete, who many of you guys, oh my uh, God. some of you guys that are, that are that like all, Here we all the fruit. Uh, would, would be familiar with him. But another thought is that it is associated with a vitamin B12 deficiency, which is increasingly common, particularly as we get old, particularly as we tell people to stop. Gregor takes B12 supplements, dumbass. Eating red meat. And even among omnivores, remember most Americans are only eating about two ounces of beef a day, so a tiny amount of red meat. And we see these age spots occurring. And then particularly as people get older, they tend to eat less and less. And so particularly in vegans who eat you know, essentially no red meat, and even despite supplementation, they often suffer from vitamin B12 deficiency. And it's not... Uh, people who take supplements don't have higher rates of B12 deficiency uh, compared to people who get B12 from food. That, you know, these age spots are uh, some sort of, you know, uh, bad problem other than cosmetically, but they do seem to represent underlying just premature aging or aging in general. And so, uh, I guess what, the question for you guys, I've never really delved into this subject before. Dude, like, these could just be freckles. He might have spent too long, like, too much time in the sun. Like, he might have just gotten, like, a pimple. Why is he making a video about this? Before, for those people, I don't know a lot of folks that follow me are, you know, in many cases, you know, 60s, 70s plus. Have you ever had age spots? And, and what happened when, when you went to carnivore? Did they, did they resolve? Because the question is, can they resolve? And I think there's some evidence that they can. So I'd be interested to see how that is. But it's interesting that they hold this. This guy holds himself up as a longevity expert. You know, how to, how to, how to age. Yeah, so uh, Dr. Greger could smoke, do crystal meth, uh, eat McDonald's every day, not get any sleep never exercise, do everything bad for his health, imaginable. That doesn't disprove anything he says. Just because he personally is not in good health, that has nothing to do with any of the advice he's given. So again, who cares? Who cares if he has a fucking spot on his forehead? Age well or something like that. His book, How, How Not to... Like, like again, he's... Like, like, just look at how stupid this is. This guy can't actually debunk anything that Gregor says. Like, he can't find a video or, you know, some piece of evidence that Dr. Gregor has, you know, brought forward and then say, oh, well, actually, look, this paper disproves that or here's the evidence against this. No, Dr. Gregor's ugly. He looks old. Uh, He's bald and he has like a fucking dot on his head.
Like, it's so fucking childish. Uh, there we go. What's Baker's stats? Where does he stand compared to Blaha height and strength wise? Is he nutty? Um, I believe Sean Baker is six foot four to six foot five, somewhere around there. And uh, he, I think he said he weighs 255, 260 pounds, something like that. Um, as far as upper body lifts, he's not particularly strong. Um, the best bench press I could see him lifting was, um, I think, two, 355. Yeah, I think his best bench was 355. That That's the best one I could find on his YouTube channel. I don't think he can lift that anymore. Um, and the he claimed, or no, wait, maybe I saw a video of it. Uh, I saw him overhead press 225, and he claimed his best overhead press was 235 back when he was uh, 35 years old. So upper body lifts, they're not amazing, but they're like pretty like pretty good for you know somebody who just recreationally lifts. Um, I don't know what his squat is. I don't think he actually really squats with much weight right now. Uh, he might. I don't know. Like I've seen him do high box squats and calling them squats is pretty generous. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't think he really squats. He might have bad knees or something. His deadlift seems pretty good. Um, but yeah, I only, again, I only ever see him uh, deadlifting with a trap bar with high handles. So who knows how good his deadlift really is. Uh, as far as I know, he's natural. That's what he claims anyway, but, um, he lost a ton of muscle at one point, just inexplicably. And then he grew a lot of muscle back and it looks like he might've developed some gynecomastia. So it's a little sus. He claims to be natural, but you know, uh, the guy's a, a you know, manipulative liar. So who knows? Thanks for the donation though, Gohan. age or something like that all while visibly aging very prematurely you know i mean you look uh he's sar he appears sarcopenic uh he's got uh, obviously he didn't win the genetic lottery when it comes to uh some other things but um it's just almost to me almost comical that that someone holds themselves up on how not to age while aging <laughs> this is just insanely stupid um again not an argument. The only thing you can do is criticize how somebody else looks. <laughs> At a very, what appears to be a rapid way. Right. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Anybody, any other thoughts on age spots? Uh, I, it's not really something I, I give a lot of thought to because I don't know that it matters that much. When you can't make an argument, just criticize someone's appearance. Maybe I should add, by the way, I can lift more than you, therefore your argument is invalid. But again, it is, you know, someone has to do a sun exposure. You make notation. How do they look? Yeah, dude. Okay. So Sean Baker is just one of the most pathetic people I have ever come across. He can't make any actual content. Like, um, you know, Michael Greger will talk about thing. Like, I, I'm not a big fan of Michael Greger to begin with, by the way. But, you know, um, a lot of Michael Greger's content, you know, is based. Uh, you know, he'll make uh, videos about how red meat, you know, is linked with cancer. Uh, premature death, heart disease, stuff like that. And then the only thing Sean can say is, oh, well, you look old, you're short, you're bald, uh, you already have gray hair, oh, you have spots on your head like an old man.
Like, what else is he going to do? Is there any research showing, oh, you know, it turns out people who eat nothing but fucking dead, rotting uh, flesh all day, they live longer. Yeah, people who eat bacon and shit, they have lower rates of heart. Well, no, you'll never find any research, uh, you know, suggesting that, which is why he has to resort to this. You don't look good. Yeah. That's all the carnivore fucking idiots can do.